ignore. I don't have time to write anymore, so I've been handwriting all of my books on the napkins I collect from restaurants. No, no, no. Here, I'll show you how you can schedule time. Hey guys, Noor here, and here's how to write a novel with a busy schedule. But before we get started, have you checked out my novel Divinity Falling? No? What are you waiting for? Go watch the book trailer! It's right here in the cards! Divinity Falling is releasing on October 1st, but you can pre-order your copy now. Let's get started! We all have busy schedules, and when you have school, work, children, and personal chores as a writer, it becomes extremely hard to write. So how are you supposed to write when you have an exam coming up or when you come home after 6 p.m.? If you're like me, you might even have a day job alongside a personal job like YouTube and publishing a book. And trust me, publishing a book takes so much time that it's often difficult making time for writing. But you can do it, just like I can do it. The truth is, we usually do have time to write, we're just too tired or unmotivated after a long, hectic day. Think about it, you always find time to watch Netflix at the end of the day, right? I mean, you're even watching my video right now! Or maybe you read a book before bed. Whatever you do in the little time you have at the end or beginning of your day is more than enough time to write. Okay, I know, I know, you need your own you time. Otherwise, the creative juices won't flow. You won't feel motivated. Blah, blah, blah. Those are just excuses, people. You don't need four hours of you time. You can reserve one hour for writing. You can even cut it to 30 minutes if you really have other things to do, like taking care of kids. Now, some of you have homework at the end of each day, so I get that you might struggle to make time for writing. Trust me, I've been there, and sometimes I still find it hard to make time for writing. But even if you have just a few hours a week, Take advantage of those, don't get lazy! Instead of spending the one day you don't have a lot of assignments, playing video games, or wasting your day away on YouTube, my channel excluded of course. You should watch more of her videos, it's good content. Don't stop watching. You could spend a few hours that day making up for the time you missed the rest of the week. There's also the matter of waking up early. A lot of us wake up later than we should, especially when classes or work don't start until later in the day. So we tend to waste several hours of productivity. And yes, sleep is precious, but so is your writing! You can't be a writer if you don't write, so you have to be responsible for making time for it. Try to sleep at a reasonable hour, so put away that book and don't continue reading until 4 in the morning. You could find out what happened to blah and blah another day. If you sleep at a reasonable hour, you can wake up earlier than you typically would and get some work done before school or work. Although more writers tend to be night owls, getting work done in the morning is more effective. And I say this even though I am a night owl who prefers to write at night. I've just noticed that the earlier in the day I start working, the more work I actually get done. It becomes a challenge of how much can I finish today before 12pm, or how much can I do before I go to work. Maybe if you go to the gym in the evening, you could move around your schedule so that you could go to the gym in the morning before you go to work or school. You know now that you're waking up earlier. This way, your usual gym time can become your writing time. And if you're like me and prefer exercising at home, you could save even more time since you don't even have to drive to the gym. Now, if you have children, your schedule might be completely off the charts. The trick is to squeeze in time when you can. If your baby is sleeping, take 15 minutes to write. Or if you want to nap when your baby naps, you can always squeeze in writing time each day by having your partner, friend, or neighbor watch over your baby for 30 minutes at a time. There are many mothers and fathers who write despite having children, so there should be nothing stopping you, not even your own excuses. Of course, if there's something going on that week like a final exam, a wedding, a birthday, or an illness, you don't have to write that week. Every now and again, you can be gentle on yourself and take a break. The trick is to find time after this break to get back to writing. And I promise, you can make the time. It might be a little tough and inconvenient, but you are a writer, and writers write! You can do it! So those are pretty much my tips. Also, I just want to remind everyone that my novel, Divinity Falling, is releasing on Tuesday, October 1st, and you can now pre-order your own copy. In fact, anyone who pre-orders Divinity Falling will be entered in my giveaway. 
just make sure you send me a picture of your receipt to enter in the giveaway and you could post it in the giveaway form in the link below. The three grand prize winners will get a signed hardback copy of my book and I will also be giving out random giveaway goodies to those who pre-order. Things like mugs, bookmarks, and t-shirts. So make sure you fill out the form in the description below. And all who pre-order and enter my giveaway will get the first five chapters of the book in advance. There you have it, how to write a novel with a busy schedule. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out my others, leave a like to support my channel, and subscribe. If you're looking for a cool community of writers, make sure you check out my Discord server. And if you're looking for free writing templates and guides, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter. Both are in the description below. And remember, you're for presidents.